Tesla stock is down over 65% year to date, which means its market cap is down by over $650 billion, which is a huge destruction in shareholder wealth. In this video, let's talk about its stock price, why it lost $650 billion in market cap, reasons behind its downtrend, how does its financial numbers look, is it the right time to buy, and at the end, my perspective about Tesla stock. Now, for those who are new to this channel, my name is Sunny and I make content that help a common man financially. So, let's dive into today's topic, Tesla at $140 a buy. Please like, share and subscribe as that will help boost the YouTube algorithm for my channel, which of course will be highly appreciated. Elon with Tesla started a new revolution about sustainable mode of transport using electric vehicles. Consequently, its stock price rose exponentially, but recently saw a downtrend as the Fed started raising rates. Today on the day of recording, it is trading at about $140 a share, but has gone down by 41% in the last 6 months. Year to date, it is down over 65% from its peak of about $400 a share, but has gone up about 540% in the last 5 years in spite of being in downtrend and the stock market which is bearish these days. Tesla stock has plunged nearly 65% from its peak when its market cap was $1.2 trillion. The big short fame investor Michael Burry always believed that Tesla is in a bubble territory. He has compared it to frenzy that we saw during dot-com bubble, thus expecting it to fall 80-90%. to other Tesla beers also think stock is highly overvalued comparative to other automakers. Its rise of 700% in 2020 is explained by rock bottom interest rates, zero commission trading apps, pandemic era fiscal monetary stimulus to just name a few. This destruction in shareholder wealth is equal to the market cap of Berkshire Hathaway. There could be three reasons behind Tesla losing billions in market cap and incidentally nothing to do with the company and its performance. Firstly, Fed's money tightening is the main reason why stocks are down and Tesla is no exception. Second, Elon sold his Tesla stock to buy Twitter. Now with huge cash burn rate at Twitter, he's selling more which has sent wrong signal to Tesla investors and that too after he tweeted that he is done selling. Third reason could be margin calls, where the lender sells when the borrower is too leveraged, which accelerates its downtrend. In spite of Tesla's stock price crashing over 65% year-to-date, the company remains on target to achieve 50% yearly growth. Looking at their quarter-over-quarter -quarter numbers, revenue is up 55%, net income is up 100%, net profit margin is up 30%, earning per share is up 69%, EBITDA is up 67%, cash on balance sheet of about $21 billion with the two ramping gigafactories, total assets up 28% whereas liabilities grew by 13%. On top of it, Tesla remains the only automaker that makes profit while selling EVs. Right now, all stocks are down, but Tesla is facing much more downward pressure. The fact remains, external factors are major contributors to its downtrend, in my humble opinion. When a professional CEO takes charge at Twitter from him, a major downward pressure on the stock might be over, but he still might have to pump in more money into Twitter. At $140 a share, it is trading at about 420 pre-split, which is the same as on November 2020 when the company was much smaller. In simple terms, you are getting two years of exponential growth free since it is trading at its two-year-old price. Before investing in Tesla or any other stock, I take two factors into account. First, my own fundamental due diligence about it and the second being having a long-term investor mindset. Looking at Tesla's fundamentals as far as I am concerned, both of them right now has not changed for me. 
For sure, when your favorite stock is down 65% year to date, you are bound to get disturbed and that is where I think for me having the right investor mindset comes into play. I believe investing is one part stock fundamentals and the remaining human psychology behind investing. Frankly, I'm in wait and watch mode where I expect the stock to go down a little more shortly which will give me the opportunity to buy it at even more discount. A smart man once said, be greedy when everybody's fearful and be fearful when everybody's greedy. But that is me, I might be wrong. Do your own due diligence before investing based on your risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, so please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.